Welcome back. This is part eight of creating a phaser name from scratch. In the last part, we updated our code to clean it up a bit. So do check that video out if you want to learn about doing that. And now in this video, we're going to connect our title screen to our game screen. We're going to change from one scene to another scene. So let's get started. Let's collapse that. So now Phaser uses scenes, and in scenes you can basically contain any similar things together. You can also run two scenes at the same time, like we did with the game and the game background scene. So our, our game background um, is a scene that has the game logic over it. Let's refresh that, all right. So we're gonna go to our title screen.js file. We've got nothing in here other than this hello world. So instead, let's change our text to. I like to I like to call my versions of Pong old school tennis. And so Phaser doesn't have any buttons built in. You have to make your own button. So before we do that, we are actually going to keep it simpler and use a, a key, a keyboard button, keyboard key maybe space to move to the next scene. So let's do, so we're gonna change this from text to title. So this is the title. All right, so we're probably gonna need some font style, text style. So font size, I believe, we'll just make this 50, 50. And let's actually go to main our main.js file and instead of starting the game first let's go back to starting the title screen first scene keys dot title screen all right old school tennis and we're going to want better font so it's font family like we did in a previous part and it's going to be what is the name of the font press start to p Press start to P. Yes, you see, I don't really remember too many things. I think it was Einstein or someone that says there's no need to remember what you can look up. And in these days, you can look up nearly anything. So it's that that is there, way too big. Let's see, 38. Not bad. Um, but maybe too far down, 200 better and let's see this dot add dot text um, 300 and let's just say press space to start and let's see similar but different size we need to be 38 in fact maybe just the fault size dot set origin 0.5. So we don't have to set both X and Y. If we just set one, phaser will assume Y is also half. I'm pretty sure. That looks about right. Press space to start. So let's see. From the scene, we can get to the input, plug in, and then keyboard dot turn on. On. Is that right? I'm not sure. Let's actually look up the docs here. So we're going to just go here, scene, input, and then keyboard plugin. So OK, keyboard.on, key down A. So this example right here actually tells us we can select a specific key. Can do add, can also do this. Let's, let's just do this. Let's see if this works. It's probably cleaner. I generally like to avoid listening for key updates and uh, key presses in the loop, in the update loop, if at all possible. So probably this, key down dash A, it's going to be our callback. And let's see, our callback is just a function. So here we're using a lambda. Doesn't matter what the context is, and we do need to. We can call this once probably. 
So on will listen to it indefinitely until we clear it out. But in our case, we can just use once, and once will auto remove the the uh, listener once it's called one time. So that should be good. So let's just do a console dot log space pressed. Let's give this a try. See what it does. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Key down. Let's check this again. Key down. What if we do key down A? Key down A. Okay, so A works. So maybe the key code for space is wrong. So let's see. Let's try this. Let's try. So this is in JavaScript. That was called string interpolation. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do string interpolation, which basically means it's going to create a string out of this, and then um, everything inside the dollar sign brackets can be code. So it's basically instead of doing uh, key down dash plus phaser dot input dot keyboard dot key codes dot space. Let me see what this value is. That's a number. Uh, okay, so in basically instead of doing this and then assigning it to a variable, we can just do it all in here in one line. So let's see if this works any better. Hmm. Does not work. Listen to a specific key. Okay. Key down dash A. Oh, is it is it possible that actually it's all caps? Oh, there we go. All caps. So space pressed. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do is now open the game scene. So this dot scene dot start. So we're going to use start instead of run. Running will run this scene with all currently running scenes, but we don't need our title screen running if we're going to switch to the game scene. So we have our scene keys, import from C consts scene keys. And we're going to the game scene, Oop, not game background, game scene. Do you hear that? That is my dog looking at a cat. She wants to eat it. Uh, game scene. So that's start game. Let's, let's give that a go. Start. Oop, there we go. All right. So that is changing the scene. So let's actually put a little delay so that we don't have our um, oops we don't have our game starting so fast while we're already here. So that's the game scene. So instead of reset ball immediately. And then, so I think we can use time. This dot time dot delayed call takes a delay in milliseconds. Uh, yep, milliseconds. So let's just say in uh, 1.5 seconds. And in the callback, we're going to do this every set ball. How does that feel? Probably too long, but we'll leave it. You can always adjust. And one final thing I just noticed, this is actually a box. So clearly our ball, uh, our ball does not use a circle of physics. So let's change that. This dot ball dot body dot set circle. And we know the radius is 10, no offsets. That's better. Now it's round. All right. So that is uh, going from scene to scene. We don't have a button. We may do a button in, in another part. Uh, we'll just see how that goes. Well, using the spacebar works just fine. If you do really want to see a button, let me know in the comments below, and I will cover that. Uh, so come back for the next part where we're going to handle scoring enough points to win. So we have a real game going on here, and then showing a uh, game over screen 
after that.